This last story comes from one of our viewers who told us that the show should feature one amazing lady's legacy in his community. So our camera set out for Iowa to find out more about Karen Coldrake. Karen was an outstanding person. She was all about family, community, getting groups of people together. And for every person that she could talk to, she would challenge them uh, to reach above and beyond their potential and always get them to do things that they hadn't thought they could do and would be willing to do. Karen uh, was just a passionate person. Karen uh, loved uh, sports, she loved education, she loved everything there was about making sure an individual was well-rounded. And I think her biggest uh, theme that I would have taken away from Karen was the fact that every child deserved a chance to play, and so her passion was children. She got involved in soccer from both the boys starting to play soccer and she just loved being able to go out and watch the kids play soccer. Um, and she was realized that you know, there's a number of families, a number of kids that weren't able to afford the opportunity, especially to play select soccer. And so wanted to do something about it and started to, to push on the soccer club to say, hey, we need sort of some financial assistance fund. And so got that set up. And then when everything happened and she passed away, they renamed that fund and put her name on it and so she just wanted to do it to give kids the opportunity to get out and, and have fun. And she had as much fun talking to the parents and being involved and was just wanting to give every kid the opportunity. The Karen Coldrake Fund has come an awful long way in the last four or five years. Uh, the fund really started out by the three clubs getting together and any budget surplus would go into a separate scholarship fund. But in today's economy and with more kids uh, wanting to play soccer, uh, our belief is that we give the opportunity to all kids who would like to play soccer regardless of uh, finances. Over the last four or five years with the economy, uh, with the job situation uh, and with a number of other cultures moving into the Johnson and the Urbandale communities, uh, we have made the, the foundation in itself a not-for-profit 501c3 a standalone foundation. So all monies that go into uh, the foundation, um, almost 100% of those funds go to children playing soccer uh, within our communities. In the last couple of years, we've done an awful lot of fundraising, and tonight's event, the Karen Coldrake uh, five-kilometer run, is one of those events. Uh, we have terrific local community support from people like Shields, All Sports, and we've got a number of other people who make personal donations because it's a good cause and because they knew Karen and they knew what her vision is, uh, and we want to continue that vision for Karen. Every year we're able to impact, you know, 20 20, 30, 40 kids directly that otherwise would not have played soccer. And beyond that, for many families that are just struggling to be able to help them make ends meet, it allows uh, you know hundreds of kids the ability to play soccer in, in our community.